Good evening there, everyone. Welcome back to Make It With Me Monday in the studio. I'm glad to be back down here, at least for this portion of uh, my days. I still have a bunch of things upstairs that I need to get transferred back into here now that I don't have a broken foot. Um, it was very nice to be able to have makeshift space, but I'm glad to be back down in the studio. <laughs> um, I realized I forgot to write out my spec proportion, so I'm just going to do that really quick while I wait for some of you guys to join me. Hope you all had a really nice weekend. Um, we were able to get to a Packer game yesterday to watch them win, which was nice for a change. Um, I also had a craft fair on Saturday. Shout out to those of you who stopped by and said hello. It was always lovely to see people um, out and about like so and put some, remind some uh, remind me what the faces are that go along with all the names I see every week when we're here together stamping. So thanks again for you guys, to you guys who came by and, and shopped or said hi or whatever. That was really nice to see everybody. Glad to do that. Um, if you are local to me, I have one more uh, craft fair coming up in two weeks on the 18th, and that is at the Wanakee Intermediate School, and it's hosted by the Friends of the Wanakee Public Library. So that is where I will be then. Um, if you want to, I'll post in for more information about that on my Facebook page. Again, if you happen to be local and you want to come out and say hi um, during my craft fair, be happy to see you. So, hello, Kathy. You were just one of the ones I was talking about. <laughs> Thanks for popping over on Saturday. Hope you found some really nice goodies at Eastside Lutheran's craft fair. <clears throat> like I said, um, I forgot that I I, I need. I forgot to write down my specs for tonight, so I'm just taking a second to do that now while I wait for some people to hop in and say hi and get ready to stamp, etc. Um, all right, one of those. I have to talk to myself while I do this or I will forget what I am trying to write down. It'll probably have some wrong information on it. <laughs> all righty. Are we ready to get stamping tonight? Um, I am going to be using for the on-camera and the stepped-up version some of the holiday product. We could kind of switch into fall and more holiday, Christmassy, holiday, winter, holiday, whatever it is you celebrate around that time um, out of our mini catalog. I have just gotten the Merry and Bright collection, um, which is really fun. There's um, light strings, and these are the little, like, uh, wires that would go into your lights. They've got toppers for them, little sparkly shine uh, parts. And then I kind of like these, uh, the way that these phrases are done. And there's a set of dies that go along with it. So you can die cut the ornament, or the, I'm sorry, ornaments, the lights, <laughs> uh, either just straight out of cardstock or you can stamp and then punch them out, or cut them out as well. There's also a, a piece for um, some string to happen. So you'll be seeing that on some of the other things I'm doing. So Marion Bright is on, page, the collection is on page nine. Um, of the mini catalog. If you want to take a peek at that side, there's a, some really adorable D DSP that goes along with that. Um, really, really fun for our Christmassy time here. Um, if you if you know me and you followed me for a while, you know Christmas lights are my favorite. So <laughs> I definitely had to add this one to my collection. All right, let's go ahead and get started tonight. You want a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half, and then scored, of course, in the middle at four and a quarter. I'm going to be using Poppy Parade. I'm getting all of my colors from the DSP that I'm using, which again is one of those from Mary Bold and Bright, and it has this cute little light string on it. Um, so that piece is going to be one and three quarters by five. Um, something with a little bit smaller print would be best. You're going to end up covering up some of it. So a tiny print um, all over or else something so large that it can definitely be seen uh, behind some other things will work as well. Then you needed three somethings that were about an inch. So circles, squares, um, you could die cut shapes or stamp and punch shapes, um, anything like that. So anything that's about an inch or so. Uh, in diameter or across or whatever, however you want to look at that. I cut out three circles whoops, from the radiating circles dies. Oh, this one's kind of hiding because it's in the same color poppy. There we go. Um, it's one of the ones that is online, available online only. It's the radiating stitches. There we go. Radiating stitches. So all of them have these little stitch marks in each of their shapes. And this is the tiniest circle that's in there. There are some frames. There's... Um, uh, kind of like a ring, so there's one that will cut out around and then also cut out a little bit in the middle as well. Um, and they, like I said, they all have those cute little stitchings in them, and that's available online. I'll have all the information for the numbers on the pictures once I get everything posted. So I did one in Poppy Parade, 
one in Granny Apple Green and one in Crushed Curry. Um, again, I told you guys you could have them be literally all the same. You could mix and match between cardstock and DSP. Whatever you wanted to do, you just needed three of something in order to um, use those elements on our card. And then you need a piece of neutral that is three quarters by three. I just use that as a starting base. If you know you have a certain phrase that you want to use and it's a little narrower or you want it to be, it needs to be shorter or longer, you guys can play with that neutral piece however you need to be. So you need a phrase that goes into that one. I'm going to take the Merry Christmas from Merry Bold and Bright and Shaded Spruce. And that's going to be what I'm going to be stamping that in as we go. So let's go ahead and do that with your phrase. I mounted both on the same block, just on opposite sides, so I could get them, uh, save myself a little bit of block time here. All right, so here's my Christmas. And because these are nice and photopolymer see-through, I know exactly where that's gonna land. Right there, whoops, let go. <laughs> and then I did mount them on opposite sides of the block so that I don't end up accidentally reusing one with a little bit of uh, leftover ink or anything. You don't wanna see both of them show up. All right. So there is my Merry Christmas. I like that you can, you're going to be able to stack these phrases together. You can cut them apart and have kind of like the, the hodgepodge staggering of your phrases and stuff like that. So going to be lots of great things to do with those guys. And then I also love these scripts. Holly Jolly. Oh, what fun. Santa was here. Really great stuff that we can do with that. And I've seen a bunch of people now, of course, take the light bulbs and turn them into something else. So I can't wait to play with that and use this beyond Christmas. So very, very excited. Um, just one little sneak peek if you think about it. This is a really cute rabbit ear if you want to do some 3D bunny stuff once we come to Easter or anything for baby. I use lots of bunnies on like my baby cards and things like that. So if you've got any of that coming up, this would be, um, I always like thinking outside the box, come up with more than one reason to come to take up a stamp set or a die or something like that. Um, I always like to see what else you can repurpose those guys into. All right, let's go ahead with your card base. Um, you have that score at four and a quarter. Let's give that a good score line with your bone folder or the edge of your block or just something sturdy that you can go ahead and do that with. Then go ahead and grab your DSP and we're going to tape that down. I'm going to do everything taped down solid and then you can see uh, in some of the samples where maybe you want to have something popped up or not. Um, it's up to, going to be totally up to you. So I'm going to put this into kind of into the corner. I want to leave about a, a, the same uh, border around top and side edges. So not totally into the corner, but pretty close. Okay. That doesn't want to lay flat for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Open it up for a second. Okay. Then you're going to take your three elements, whatever you have. If you have circles, you have squares, whatever you're going to do, lay them out kind of like this blood reminds me of buttons on a snowman. So just your three of something, and then your phrase is going to come off and be the fourth element of that. Now, if you want to take that phrase and dress it up a little bit, you could add um, either like some bling, some rhinestones, or maybe a little bow into some of those blank areas. You can also do the little cut-ins where we make the little banner uh, part of that. I will leave this one as is so that you could just see how the whole piece looks at this point. And so then you can go ahead and adhere those down. I like to lay them down first just so I have the spacing about right, and then I don't have to try to peel it apart uh, and risk wrecking my, my wonderful project <laughs> in the end. All right, so remember you could have circles, you could have squares, they could be designer series paper, they could be cardstock that you've chosen to either stamp or emboss or anything like that that you wanted to do. Okay, so here is my Merry Christmas going into the bottom like that. So that is the basic layout. The idea being you have three similar somethings. And again, they can be literally exactly the same. I could have used three of the same color circle. Um, and you could, like I said, switch up between designer series papers and uh, card socks or die cut images, whatever you want to do. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Let me leave this out here. For some reason, this guy doesn't want to lay very flat. What is going on with my score line here, guys? Let's try that. That's a little bit better. Okay. Let me go ahead and show you some of the samples so you can see some other things that I've done. Um, this one here, I grabbed the uh, Countryside Inn designer series paper, and from that I took my two colors, which are Boho Blue and Misty Moonlight, and as you can see on this one, I did choose to do that little banner cutout. Uh, the verse is from Go To Greetings, and then on my squares, I did add an embossing folder in there. This is um, the Painted Posies. I just picked um, a spot on the embossing folder to lay those down, so they have little elements of flowers or 
flora leaves, et cetera, that kind of blend in with uh, the match, I should say, the uh, flora in there. So that's another option. And as you can see on those, I did pop them up. So all three of these guys and my phrase are popped up. My DSP is laid flat. All right, and on this one, all elements are laid flat. Again, this comes from the All About Autumn designer series paper. Again, I have my phrase from GoTo Greetings. Um, so in this one, I my one inches are the cardstock, and then I went three quarter inch squares on the DSP. So they kind of have a little layer to them. Gives it a little bit more. I like the fact that the other side of these have these lovely little metallic parts in them. Really, really fun piece of designer series paper there in that All About Autumn collection. Um, now this one here, I have some DSP from the Bright and Beautiful. It's kind of an ombre of the Lemon Lime Twist. And then in that very cute stamp set, which is in the Holiday Mini, it's the one with the polar bears, there's this little package. So I stamped the package onto more of this DSP in black and then just cut them out. And same thing with this, I stamped my phrase onto that and then everything is mounted on my neutral color. So they're all glued straight down and then mounted on my neutral color. And the black, just to pop that off with that, uh, I love using that with some of those brighter colors like the um, the Berry Burst and the Lemon Lime Twist and Grand Apple Green and um, like Melon Mambo. Some of those really pull out the really, really cool brightness of some of those card stacks when you alternate them with with a dark or vice versa, like the, with the white that really makes that pop off of that dark card stack. All right, here's another holiday one. I used the uh, Sparkling Snowflake Designer Series Paper er, <laughs> embossing folder, not Designer Series Paper, um, to create a layer. So there's a piece of Lost Lagoon on Lost Lagoon that now has these snowflakes um, embossed into it. And I grabbed the uh, Snowflake Magic specialty paper. That's what I was trying to go for before. One piece here is my one three quarter by five, obviously. My one inch squares, I decided to set off in a diamond pattern instead of just straight up squares. And then this phrase comes from that, um, <coughs> excuse me, the magical meadow. So it makes the season sparkle. I love the fact that all the DSP or the specialty paper here has a little, just a little hint of metallic glimmer, sparkle. Thanks, Kathy. I really liked the way this one turned out. Super simple. Uh, just letting the designer series papers play, uh, do the part and, and make it all show off really, really nicely. Um, you see, again, I did cut this down a little bit, uh, straight edge on one side with the little bullet, uh, the little indent right there to make that fit really nicely there. All right, so that is some options. So like I said, you can take um, stamped images and cut them out. We have ones that I run through embossing folders. We have designer series papers. We had combinations here of cardstock and circles. And then here's the last one I did. Um, this is a little bit more bold and bright. Um, again, still all coming from that Marion Bright collection. Um, so instead of the circles, I actually did die cut the bulbs. So yes, I know they're a little bit bigger than one inch, but it turned out really cool. <laughs> so this is exactly the same, the Merry Christmas. I did a layer here as well, like I did on the Snowflake one, and I embossed it with the exposed brick embossing folder. So a little bit of texture in the background. I framed the DSP out with some shaded spruce, just to set that off a little bit more. And then I have my light bulbs that I cut out in the Granny Apple Green, the, the Poppy Parade, and the Crush Curry. And I also die cut the little filament element and then just lay those on top. Those are just tone on tone. And then some shaded spruce for the light bulb uh, ends or whatever you want to call those guys. And then here's one of those strings I was telling you that you can die cut. So that has um, the light string attached to, the lights are attached to a string themselves. There we go. That's what I was trying to get across there. So again, same colors, same concept, just a little bit stepped up um, based on how much you raise it up. What you decide to use as these elements really makes the, that difference there. So again, it's just basically picking three of something that kind of go together, setting it off with a little DSP and your phrase. And again, you guys, don't worry about the sizing of that phrase. Use what you have and use what fits the occasion you're doing, all that kind of stuff. You can change, you can make it skinnier, you can make it wider. Um, I just like to make sure I lay it all down first before I glue anything down or tape anything down because you want to make sure that you've got your spacings correctly for all of those great images. Alrighty, that should be all the samples from tonight. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Um, thanks for tuning in. It was nice to be back down in the studio with you. Looking forward to settling back in down here and getting some more things ready for my next craft fair. So like I mentioned at the beginning, if you're local, I will be in Wanakee at the Wanakee Intermediate School two Saturdays. So not this coming Saturday, the other, but Saturday the 18th, I will be there <clears throat> for that craft fair there. I'll have lots of great cards and um, stocking stuffer elements. If you have secret Santas, 
uh, that you do it like at work or at school or something like that. Great little, little treats and things like that that you might want to take a peek at. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I had a big dry patch just show up. I was hoping it would wait till I was off camera. Um, all right. Thanks for joining me tonight, everybody. It was great to quote unquote, see you again. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you again next Monday. Everybody have a great week. Bye now.